See this. See this is the thing, Charleston. Like I, I, I think everything that you're saying has some truth to it. It's just the the delivery. You oh. standing. There's no denying that you're standing for and by your people. Well, here's the thing. Uh, when you're addressing evil, you can't worry about the delivery. When you're looking at the conditions of our community, you can't worry about the evil. When you got kids that kill kids and say we smoking on tuka. See, they wasn't worried about the delivery when these kids in Chicago were talking about smoking on tuka. Mm -hmm. They weren't worried about the delivery. I ain't got no manners for no slut. I'm going to put my thumb in her butt. The delivery? Sheesh. I like girls kissing girls where I'm from. And that's on the radio. Girls on girls. That's, they, that's promoting lesbianism to my daughter as we driving to school. This song they playing with Drake. Y'all worried about the delivery? These niggas talking about killing each other. They really, that nigga thug said, nigga, I shot at your mama. You don't mention me no more. He really shot that nigga mama. And y'all worried about my delivery? These niggas are confessing to murders on songs. And y'all worried about my delivery? The conditions of black sucking them, talking about booty hole. Y'all worried about my delivery? Come on, don't be hypocrites, black people. Mm, y'all can't listen to this music if y'all so caught up in my delivery. Facts. Fact. Don't do me like that. And the way y'all snap and pop y'all pussy to this music, the way y'all kill and drill to this music, don't trip about my delivery. Hey, yo, easy. Why you wear your pants like that? I wear my pants like that because that's easy access, baby. Easy. Why you talk like that? I talk like that to get my point across. True. Because when I wasn't talking like that, wearing a bow tie, y'all wasn't paying me no attention. And I was going to the Supreme Court changing laws and legislations in this country. I was working with over 50 U.S. congressional members from Ted Cruz to Mark Rubio, Senator John Cornyn. I was on the front page of the American Bar Association Journal. I had done a study with News 21, Walter Conkrike School of Journalism. Y'all wasn't paying attention then. So, nigga, I gave y'all what y'all want. A ignorant motherfucking nigga that talk like them rappers. Whoa. Now y'all listening. Now y'all paying attention, huh? I got y'all attention, checkmate. Now let me tell y'all what y'all need to hear. We fucked up as a race of people since y'all so caught up into my delivery. Damn. 5% of children now are catching HIV from ages 13 to 21. What y'all worried about? 85% of the new chlamydia, all the new cases of teenagers. What y'all so caught up about? Nigga, only 35% of most kids in inner cities can read on or above their grade letter. What the fuck are y'all talking about and these kids can't read? Facts. I made a video about that. Come on, my nigga. So we gonna be real. Let's be real. Uh, I'm not bashing the black woman in her BBLs. I'm not bashing the, the black woman because she wearing eyelashes. I'm not fucking with the sister because she got too many baby daddy. I'm addressing men. Just like we abandoned no justice, no peace for George Floyd. Are we still mad about George Floyd? Are we still mad about police shooting? Is that why we not kneeling no more? Are we still boycotting the NFL? What happened to all these things? What happened? Nigga, because I'm still stuck on Tamir Rice while y'all stuck on my delivery. Yo. I'm still mad why ain't now motherfucker tore up the country behind Tamir Rice. Baby Tamir Rice at that. Yeah. Since we so in tune. He makes a very, very valid argument in that because I want you to think about something. He said, when I was wearing a bow tie, nobody wanted to listen to me until I started being ignorant like the rappers that you like. You know, I think there's a level of acceptance between through the culture because we are OK with ignorance being displayed in the music. We're OK with ignorance being displayed on television Things of that nature. But if we say something that is crucial to who you are as a human being, if it's negative, then we'll listen and then we'll be like, I hate him. How dare he say these things? How dare he bring up some stuff that he's not supposed to bring up? But truth be told, we allow a lot of ignorance to slide by. And that I ain't gonna lie, that gave me chills. The first time I saw it, it gave me chills because I'm like, yo, that's some deep stuff. It's amazing how shock jocks can get this type of notoriety, cussing, screaming, yelling, where back in the 60s, 50s and 60s, you had people in bow ties. You had people with ties on, suits and things like that. They would talk about the plight in our neighborhoods, and we respected them for that. But nowadays, we do not respect those people. We want to see some hood dude talk like that. 
But that, that, that's not the reality. He said, I only want to talk to the men. I don't want to talk to the women that dress and look and act this type of way. But truth be told, you talking about you driving down the street and a song talking about women liking women while your child in the car. Why you got that playing? Why don't you turn that off? Why is that able to function? You know what I mean? Because we not only have to focus on what our children listen to, but we also have to guide them into the aspects of what we don't want them to deal with. And, you know, all of the numbers that he threw in was just amazing. You know, you're talking about these levels of FCDs, AIDS for young children. Like, it's like, wow, why is that happening? And, you know, for us as people, you know, like he said, you, you care about my delivery, but nobody else's. Same thing happened with Kevin Samuels. They cared about his delivery and not about the information. And instead of waiting for somebody to say something outlandish where it hurts your feelings, how about focusing on the people that are actually talking about the things where it makes sense, where they don't have to use curse words they have to wild out they have to scream and yell for you to actually pay attention to what they're talking about i think it's a mindset we like the drama we like the chaos and that's why we respond to those things but those people get large and then we say well why do you have to say it like that well that was the reason that you listened to me in the first place if i wasn't talking like that you would have never listened to me he said he had a bow tie on. Then he mentioned about laws that he was working on, things of that nature. So he was doing a bunch of things behind the scenes, but no one cared about that. But the moment he started saying a bunch of crazy, chaotic things, then it was like, oh, let's pay attention to him. That's a broken ideology. And it's a broken behavior. It's a broken mindset. It's a bunch of broken things. So you can't think that you can police somebody's wording if you're willing to finally listen, instead, you need to change everything. Everything has to be changed. You know, you have to develop and grow. I mean, I did a video. I said I earlier when I was watching this thing, I did a video talking about I think it was was it in Baltimore or something. But they talked about how majority of the kids didn't have a fifth grade le reading level. Think about that. A fifth grade reading level. You ain't even you, you ain't even hit your teenage years yet. And you're as you get older, your ability to read doesn't grow. That's a sad thing. And, you know, there's times that he talks and it just irks my just irks me because he says some of the most outlandish things. So those things I stop trying to talk about or react to. But when he's speaking facts, then, yeah, I'll acknowledge that. Other stuff, I'll just be like, man, he he's he he's behaving in a way that is not conducive to his message because he will contradict himself. But in this statement, it makes perfect sense. I mean, I miss them days like I still watch interviews from Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, and I'll just listen to how they speak and what they speak about. And what I realize in 60 years, same things are still going on. And that is the prime example of insanity. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. And we're not growing as a community. We're still failing. Yeah, there's a portion of us that are going up, making these elevations, doing things better. But there's still another faction that is getting worse. What do you do with that? And I'd love to hear y'all comments. In the, uh, I'd like to see them in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And be on the lookout for more videos. All right, everybody. Peace.